Hello medicos, let us start with the breast imaging. Initially I thought I should cover this breast imaging in systemic radiology. But breast imaging itself a branch or you can say a topic, a huge topic in itself. So I took it in general radiology. Different broad, broad radiological imaging techniques we take, we do to, to do the breast imaging. One of it is X-ray, then is the USG and we do MRI to get the images of the breast. Following are the examples of the ima breast imaging techniques which use X-ray as their radiation. The first one is the mammography. Mammography is basically radiology, radiogram, wait a minute, it's a radiogram of breast. It's just the X-ray of breast. Then we have the breast tomosynthesis or you can say it is a digital breast tomosynthesis. It uses low grade x-rays to get the volumetric volumetric reconstruction of a breast and it is used for detecting the cancer in early stages which is, which is treatable. Then we have zero radiology. What do you, what, how does zero radiology differs from the normal radiology? In radiology, we get the images on the film, whereas in zero radiology, you get the images on the paper, a specific type of paper. In this zero radiology, you use selenium to get the selenium, sorry, selenium to get the image on a paper. We get a really good contrast in the zero radiology, but the disadvantage is that the exposure to the X-ray is tremendous. It's very high, very high, and you use it in the breast imaging, right? Then we have left with the galactography, or you can say it as ductography. What in what in this what in the galactography is done? You're going to inject a dye in the uh, duct milk duct milk system or you can say a duct system in the breast to to visualize or to produce the image of the milk duct system in the breast and it is done in the pathological pathological nipple discharge okay in case of pathological nipple discharge you are going to search for the reason of discharge so you are going to visualize whole of the duct system in the breast then is the sonomammography. Here you can say that it is a USG of breast. Whereas MRI of breast, we call it as MR mammography. Okay, now let us see the difference between the mammography and the classical X-ray tube. So mammography is very much uh, it uh, it is very good. Um, resolution and the contrast image we obtain of breast. So in previous video we have in lectures we have learned that to obtain a better contrast image you need to lower the KVP and increase the MAS. So you are so you are going to do in mammogram is that you are going to lower the KVP and increase the MAS at a certain limit. Limit. But what happens in mammogram the exposure to the X ray is really high. So one mammogram is equal to four radio. Gram. So let us also see the difference between the mammogram and the x-ray tube. So in case of x-ray, the target is of tungstate, whereas it is of molybdenum in the mammograph. So M for molybdenum and M for mammogram. Now the target window in the x-ray is pyrex or the glass, whereas in mammogram it is of beryllium. B for beryllium, B for breast. Okay. And then the filter. In X-ray, the filter is made up of aluminium, whereas it is made up of molybdenum in the mammogram. M for molybdenum, M for mammogram. Now, wait, let us move towards the different types of view. So, we have two types of view. The first one is the MLO or called as medio lateral view. Here, suppose this is a sternum and this is our breast tissue with the breast tail. So, this is tail of breast and so the x-ray comes from medial side and enters flat and exits laterally so medial lateral view this is really a good view to get a high coverage of uh, have cover high coverage of tissue because tail of the breast is also covered in medial, medial lateral view as compared to cc view the cc view stands for cranio caudal view 
cranio caudal view here the axilla enters cranial and exits caudal okay this is the other view of breast see whenever you think of breast imaging it's not only the breast imaging for the cancer you do breast imaging in other pathological condition as well we have just see we do galactography in the pathological nipple discharge but breast imaging the major part of breast imaging is because of the lump in the breast or the breast cancer so in this lectures uh, in this session we are going to see about the protocol for the investigation of breast cancer and what are the um, the protocol of breast investigation cancer see if i have a glass of water half filled and we ask for the opinion of different person they are going to say half of half are going to say the glass is half filled whereas others are going to say half filled glass is half empty whereas others are going to say that the uh, volume distribution of glass is different so you can't say whether it's half filled or half empty different people has different opinion so is the case with radiological imaging but you can't have this different opinion for the breast cancer because breast cancer is really a fatal, fatal condition and you need to treat that condition very fast and instinctively so to ha to have a proper protocol and give a proper treatment we have discovered a system we call it as irads what do you mean by irads irads means wait a minute i will write out write it down the long form irads means imaging imaging reporting and data system okay so this is the long form of irads the irads has different organs it means depending on the organs irads varies so the first one is the birads birads means the organ of investigation is breast and the radiological techniques we are going to use is mammography usg and mri birads the organ of investigation is prostate and we are going to use the radiological imaging as mri then is lyrad here the organ of investigation is liver and you are going to do the mri in case of thyroid thyroid the organ is thyroid and you are going to do the usg then we are left with the virads vesicular bladder cancer we are going to uh, the organ of uh, investigation will be the urinary bladder and you are going to do the mri of it and the last one is the cyrads in which the organ of investigation is colon and you are going to do the vulture colonoscopy since we are dealing with the breast imaging we are going to deal with pyrads let us first see the working protocol whenever a woman visits to you so if the female comes to you right you are left with two conditions either she has she comes with comes to you with the complaint of lump in her breast so it has a lump positive or she comes to you for general examination so the lump is absent okay so since she is coming to you for the general examination you are going to take the advantage of it and you are going to perform the screening for the breast cancer so what you are going to do you are going to do this screening okay while doing the screening you are left with two condition either the female is less than 40 years or she is more than 40 years suppose the female which visited to you for general examination is less than 40 years so what you are going to do you are going to see or check for high risk factors factors so what are the high risk factors whether she has high risk factors whether she has genetic history history of genetics like Biorec one or two positive. Whether she has history, familiar history. His uh, family history means whether her first generation um, relatives are suffering from breast cancer, like her mother or her real sister is suffering, or her masi or her mother's sister is suffering from breast cancer. So you have to perform the screening on the patient. The third one is the exposure history of exposure to radiations. If he, she or he or she is having any of the risk factor, you are going to 
perform the screening and in the screening you are going to perform the MRI right why MRI see in the early age or the uh, till the 40th decade the density of breast is really high the breast is glandular so the, on the x-ray or the MRI MRI is a type of x-ray of the breast so on the MRI this dense tissue appears white also if the tumor is present it will appears white so this will give you false negative so you don't want to leave even one percent of chance if the person is having the lump so what you're going to do you're going to perform the MRI but in this MRI you can also do like if she is less than 30 go with sure shot MRI and if she is more than 30 you can have mammography with MRI so MRI plus mammography why am I adding my mammography is right in on